Hi, Chuck here with another quick tip for admins and developers to be more effective on the ServiceNow platform. But first, that friendly reminder to click like if you find this helpful and subscribe so you don't miss any great content in the future. Now, you may have heard me talk about condition fields now and then. If so, you'll know how useful they are at configuring the way an app behaves. And even if you haven't created a condition field in the past, you've likely used one for things like business rules, UI policies, and more. They're really handy. And if you want to learn more about how to make use of condition fields, check out the link in the description below. For this video, our problem is that someone created a condition field, but didn't give it the full treatment. Check this out. These list entries, well, they're pretty hard to read. We've got societies, something about a date field, and ugh. And when we open the record, we get the basic condition field elements. But that's just it, basic. We can do so much better with a few simple dictionary attributes. Check it out. First, we'll right click on the condition field label and configure the dictionary entry. Next, we'll scroll down to the attributes related list where we see that there's already a couple records here. One to tell the condition field that it's using a static table name and another that we've covered in a previous video to let the system know that the string should not be truncated in a list view. Let's go ahead and add another by clicking New. We'll select Readable as the attribute and set the value to True, then Submit. We'll create another one and select the attribute Show Condition Count, set the value to True, and submit that too. Now when we look at the list, look at that. Those condition strings are much easier to read. And in the record, we've got the number of records that match the condition. And remember, that's a link that takes us to a list of those records with the filter applied. Now let's add one more attribute that's going to take our condition field to the next level. For this one, we'll go back to the fields dictionary entry and click advanced view down here in the related links. Because this attribute isn't selectable from the related list for some reason. Here in the attributes field, we see everything from the related list as a comma separated value. And at the end, we'll append comma, condition under builder equals v2, and click update. Back on the record, pretty nice, am I right? That's why I love condition fields so much. They make it easy to create declarative changes in an app to really save time. And with a few simple dictionary attributes, they become even more useful. That's all for this time. Don't forget, if you've got a tip about the platform or an app or capability, share it with the world. And don't forget to use the hashtag ServiceNowDYK to be part of the community. I'll be back soon with another ServiceNowDYK. Thanks for watching.